Hi guys, today we are going to be playing with a palette that I just got in the mail today. I'm so excited. I ordered this the day it launched. You obviously already know what it is because you've seen the thumbnail and the title of the video, but this is the blueprint palette from Melt. I do not own the stack, so I can't compare them for you, but I'm sure that you can find other videos who are going to be doing comparison videos, but I'm just going to be focusing on the palette. We're going to be testing this out. Now this does retail for the same amount as the usual Melt price for the palettes, which is $48. And it's quite expensive for what you're getting. I mean, there's only eight shadows in this palette, so I don't know. I'm excited to test it out though. I don't have more than one palette in this format from Melt. I do have the Radioactive palette, but that is the only one that I have that's in like the same format. So I don't know. We'll just kind of see what happens, see how it goes. Hopefully it's going to be nice quality. I do kind of wish that there were more uh, mattes in this palette because I do prefer mattes over their shimmers, but we'll see how these are. When I did swatch them, they felt a little bit on the dry side and not the most intense and metallic that I look for in my shimmer. So we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to prime with my Natasha Denone eyeshadow base and we'll just get started because I don't need to ramble in this intro because you're all here to see how the palette performs. So that's what we're gonna do. If you're new to my channel, hi, I don't really mess with neutrals a lot, so I'm probably going to mainly focus on the blues because blues are like my favorite colors to wear. So I'm very excited about the blue shadows in this palette. Of course, I'm going to do more looks. I'm gonna probably do a two looks, one palette video after that. So I'll definitely be using like all of the shades eventually, but I think just for today's look, I just wanna do like something, something very blue. So how about we do a little bit of a halo eye because I don't know, why not? So I'm gonna start with the blue matte because there's only one blue matte. So that's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Basically, I'm gonna go ahead and put this into my crease. I'm starting quite low because usually Melt's mattes are extremely pigmented and even darker on the eye than they appear in the pan. So I'm gonna start low, keep the shape of this quite round. It's definitely going on the eye very nice and pigmented, uh, which I'm not surprised by at all because I do really, really, really like how deep and dark and rich Melt's mattes are. It's one of the things that I really look for in my eyeshadow is just like the richness of it like I know it's kind of hard to explain what I'm trying to say but just how dark the shadow actually looks on the eye compared to what it looks like in the pan like I want my shadows to be at least the same depth on my eye as they are in the pan if that makes sense just gonna do the same thing on this eye just packing on the color first and we'll work on blending and stuff after uh, I might do the neutral kind of brown matte underneath my eye just so we can kind of test it out. I haven't really decided yet. Let me just go ahead and do like all the blues on top first and we'll see how it's looking. There's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but as long as it doesn't end up on my face, I don't really care if there is kick up in my shadows. And this is doing very nice so far. I don't have any fallout at all, which is quite important when you're using a dark blue shadow to begin with because blue tends to be one of those colors that if you do get fallout with blue you're kind of screwed and it's just going to stick to your face so fingers crossed I'm going to be able to just keep this quite clean here so once I've gotten the color down where it is that I want it to be I'm just going to work on basically blending the edges all the way around my eye I'm going to just wipe off my brush here and make sure that it is quite clean and I'm just going to use small circular motions just around the edge of my eye until I get a very diffused edge here might take a little bit of time, but that's okay. And if you want to get a very diffused edge, if you're not okay with just like a good enough blend like I am, you can definitely use like a translucent powder or just like a bone colored matte from somewhere else to help blend this out. But I don't really care to do that. I don't know, maybe I'm just lazy, but I feel like I get a pretty good blend just blending out shadows on his own hair. And I think that that looks really, really nice. I'm very happy with just how that blended out and how it shared out on its own. I feel like I have a pretty decent gradient just with using this blue. I'm just taking a little bit more of that dark blue. Oh, I did get a little bit of fallout. I went in a little bit too heavy. <laughs> Try to be careful. I'm just gonna pat that on the outer corner of my eye as well as the inner portion so that we can create that halo effect. So I'm really liking how the shadow is performing. It's very easy to build up and it's looking very nice and rich and opaque and it's blending beautifully. I'm gonna see if I'm able to wipe away this fallout. I'm taking a little bit of translucent powder just on a fan brush here to kind of help make sure that, I was gonna say it doesn't stick to my face, which it's definitely sticking to my face, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> So I might just have to cover this up with some blue highlighter when it's done, <laughs> which is fine. Let's try to put on some shimmer. So I'm going to put down some NYX glitter primer first, just so we can really get these shadows to pop. I'm just gonna take that basically all over my lid where I want the shimmers to go. I am going to put shimmers on most of my lid. So 
I'm just going to cover most of the middle here as well as a little bit on the sides. And I'm going to start with the darkest shade here, which is called King Stud, which is this one. Just picking that up on my same brush that's already a little bit sticky, and I'm going to put that in the outer corner of my eye, pretty much over the edge of where I put down the matte. Going to leave a little bit of room in the middle of my eye still so that we can get that halo effect. Definitely not a very metallic formula. I would say it leans a little bit more... I wouldn't even say satin. Like, it's something in between, like, a metallic and a satin. I guess it's just a basic shimmer. <laughs> I guess that's what you would call that. It is a really, really pretty color, though, and I don't mind the darkest shimmer in palettes to not be, like, the most intense, because usually it's the kind of color that you want to blend into your mattes, so I don't really mind this formula for a dark shimmer like this. But for something a little bit more mid-tone, I almost put that, like, all over my lid. That was a mistake, but it's fine. We're gonna just layer that lighter shade over the top here. And then for the center, I'm thinking I want to do this one and then do the very lightest shade in the inner corner. So I'm gonna grab the shade, which is called Deadbolt. I might have to layer a little bit of that very lightest shade over the top if this isn't light enough, but we'll kind of see what happens when I put this in the middle. I am going to take this quite high up kind of into my crease here so that when my eye is open, you can see a little bit of the shade kind of poking up. So again, like I was saying with the other blue, it's not the most metallic formula. It's definitely more of a pretty basic shimmer here. It's a very pretty color, but I do prefer my shimmers to be a little bit, just, just a little bit more, just a little bit extra, like either a little bit extra shiny or maybe a little bit of like glitters in it or just something to make it a little bit more special because I don't feel like this is necessarily like a very unique palette when it comes to not just the colors but the formulas as well like I feel like if you're going to do a color story like this it kind of needs to be a little bit more because we've already seen a bunch of you know half neutral half blue palettes and I feel like at this point where I'm at right now this is just another half and half you know what I mean like I don't mean that in like a bashing this palette kind of way but so far I'm not like blown away by any means like it's totally fine like it's very usable and I do really like the look that's coming out of it but I'm not like blown away by the formulas if I'm making any sense. For my lower lash line, I'm going to grab a little bit of this brown just so we can kind of test it out. It's called Hammered. I'm just going to smudge that underneath my eye hair. I'm not going to do anything fancy at all. Just going to try a little bit of the shit. I feel like on the eye, this is looking a lot more cool tone than it's looking in the pan. And the, and the pan is looking very warm. And I see now I'm having a lot of fallout with that blue, even just in my inner corner. I don't, I don't know if it's the matte or if it's one of the shimmers. But yeah, there's definitely a lot of fallout with this palette now that I've used more shades and that does annoy me a little bit. I did have that problem with the black in the recently deceased palette from the Beetlejuice collection as well. And I am someone who I always like to do my face first. I just, I can't do it the other way around. I just don't enjoy it. So for me, it's very important that the shadows don't have a ton of fallout. And I got to preface that by saying that I don't usually get a lot of fallout with my eyeshadows when I do my makeup. So when I do... Uh, encounter a formula that does give me a lot of fallout. I can't really blame it on myself since I don't usually get a lot of fallout, you know? Again, very nice and rich color, which is the thing that I like the most about uh, their mattes. I think that they are really, really nice. I'm just going to take a clean brush here and just work on the blend a little bit. And for my inner corner, I'm going to take the shade here called Skylight. I'm going to spray that a little bit with some Fix Plus here. And just use that as my inner corner highlight. Now that is a really cool shade. I love that. So this is where I'm going to leave it with the shadows. I am going to do one more thing though. I'm going to dip into my Bitter Lace Beauty highlighters. And I'm going to take this blue one right here, which is called Lucid. And it's basically a blue glittery highlighter. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and just tap that in the center of my lid. Because I just want to bring in a little bit of extra kind of oomph to this look. Actually, I'm going to spray this a little bit because it's quite a dry formula. I'm just going to spray that. And I'm just, like I said, going to tap a little bit of that just in the middle of my eye, just so I can get a little bit more sparkle. Like, I felt like this look was just needing a little bit of something extra. Like, you can really see the difference between this eye and this eye. Now, of course, I could have used the inner corner shade in the middle of my lid as well, but I really just wanted to try out as many of these shades as possible. And that's just where we're at. But this is definitely a lot more glittery and dimensional than that inner corner shade, even though that one is beautiful as well. 
Now, this is where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to finish off my eyes. I'll come back and I will tell you kind of like my final, not my final, my final first impression thoughts on this palette. So here's what the look is like with some liners and mascara and stuff like that. In my waterline, I use Lady Lagoon by Fenty. This is my absolute favorite blue eyeliner in my collection. I just love it and I think it looks really good with this look. And then I just did some liner and mascara. For my lipstick, I'm not allowed to tell you what it is yet because there's a new release from Udenside, but they haven't actually revealed it themselves yet. I just got the PR package today and I was like, I need to try it. So far, loving the formula. I think it's amazing. It's a very, very kind of velvety, but still smudge proof finish. And I absolutely love it so far. Like I said. For my highlighter, I use the same highlighter that I use in the middle of my lid, the one from Bitter Lace Beauty. I love it. I mean, it's so blinding and so glittery and just so fun. So let's talk a little bit about this palette. Now, how do I feel about this palette? I feel like if you have a lot of blues in your collection, you have a lot of neutrals in your collection, I don't think that this would necessarily add anything special. But if you just like Melt, you like their palettes, you like their formula, this is pretty much like what I was expecting when I ordered this, to be honest. And I do like it. I just wish that, I just wish that Melt would work a little bit on their shimmers. I feel like they're just a little boring. <laughs> is that mean? <laughs> like, I just want a little bit more. I feel like so many brands have come such a long way these days with just really coming out with new, interesting and unique shimmer formulas. And I feel like this is just a little, it's, it's okay, but like I have this already. And I feel like if you have this already too, you might not need this palette, but I do think that the quality is nice. I did have some fallout with the blue, which may or may not have been my fault. I'm not really sure about that. I'm gonna reserve any judgment until I've used it a few more times. So that's what I'm going to do. So like I said, I'm gonna do two more looks with this and just kind of see how I feel about it after that. So that's kind of like my first impression right now is I think it's fine, but I'm also not like super impressed by any means. Like I think it's fine. <laughs> Let me know if you want me to give you some alternatives to this palette, if maybe you want some cheaper options, because I definitely have a couple in mind that I can bring in in my next video. If you kind of want something similar to this, but you maybe don't want to pay the price, let me know if you want me to add that in and I can definitely do that. So that's going to be my thoughts so far. Like I said, I need to kind of play with it a little bit more to make up my mind, but that's just where I'm at. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to check out the rest of my videos and maybe you would consider subscribing. I would love to have you part of my family and that's going to be it for today. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.